Okay, so today I'm going to do a little uh, unboxing video of a new part I just got. Um, as you can see, it's from Full Race. Uh, just full disclosure, uh, Full Race did give me a little bit of a discount, so that way I would do a, a little video. I was, gonna, you know, I wanted the part obviously, and I reached out to them, just, and we worked out a deal where they gave me a little bit of a discount. Um, I don't. It shouldn't be anything that will change my opinion of the product, but just a uh, full disclosure there. So let's just get to it. I might do a little uh, time lapse, so it's not super boring, but. Okay, so now that we got everything out, we're going to go over what's included in this uh, kit. There are some options and stuff, so I want to be, be going over uh, the build sheet that came with it. Um, so obviously there's some differences in EcoBoost uh, as the years go on. So obviously this, this is a kit for a 2013 with, uh, I chose to keep the electronic blow off valve. As you can see, here's the big meaty intercooler with the raw finish. I didn't up, opt for the uh, the black coating, just I didn't think it was worth the uh, the upcharge for that. It's pretty good looking. Um, obviously, it's uh, way way thicker than the uh, stock one. I'll do a side by side comparison when I do the install. like they have uh, pretty good craftsmanship which is pretty much what I expected um, over here you have two brackets for the uh, mounting so um, you have this long mount what they call mounting beam that goes below and then you have this other bracket 
with some nice uh, laser cutouts there for uh, mounting on, on, on the top. So continuing on the west, we have all our couplers here um, to connect our various uh, piping throughout the assembly. Um, we have some different clamps in here. We also have a uh, horn relocation bracket in there. You guys will see that once once I do the install. Next we have all our uh, our pipes. We have our uh, this this comes from the intercooler from the cool side if you will. This comes from the hot side of the intercooler. And this is our charge pipe that goes up into the intake. Uh, Full Racing was kind enough to include a lot of uh, swag, if you will. Got a uh, license plate frame, various various stickers of different sizes, and a little pamphlet. So overall, first impressions. Um, everything looks super nice. All the welds look really great, especially <clears throat> especially on the pipes here. Um, that's a nice looking. That's a nice looking weld. Um, yeah, all the powder coating looks very uniform and no issues with that. So the next video I'll be posting will be getting all this put together. Hopefully I get some time in my schedule that will allow me to do that. So uh, come back if you want to see how to do this. They have a pretty good uh, description online how to install it but a figurative video might be helpful for some people so i guess the only thing left to have to talk about in the video is like why i decided to of course the heater kicks on um why i decided to get this so i did this for two reasons the first being that this is a high mount so it'll mount it in front of the radiator which will give me better clearance underneath um, I'm just, they have it on their website as well, but basically this lets you run either a winch in your stock bumper or you can run a pre-runner type bumper that uh, kind of gives you more approach angle and ground clearance and so on and so forth. So down the line, that's my hopes and goals, so this is a necessary step to get there. Uh, additionally, I was having some issues when I was towing. Um, on some, some of the steep mountains here in Alaska, I was overheating um, when I was going kind of low speeds and uh, up some steep grades. I did replace my thermostat and when I removed it, it was sticking. Um, so I believe that that was the issue, but this will also help um, avoid any issues like that. Uh, it'll keep your inlet air, air, inlet air temperatures down, which will help keep the engine cooler in general um, as well as give you more power so all right that about wraps it up let me know if you guys have any uh, questions and uh, come back to watch the install thanks